to Shasta Public Library's Virtual Storytime. I'm April, and today I'll be reading How Do Dinosaurs Learn to Read, written by Jane Yolen and illustrated by Mark Teague. But before we get started with our reading today, we're going to have a fun poem all about dinosaurs where we learn how to subtract from five. So I want all the kids out there to put up five parents join in too. We're going to just put up five fingers and we're going to say five enormous dinosaurs letting out a roar. I want to hear you roar, okay? Roar! One went away and then there were four. Four enormous dinosaurs crashing through the trees. One went away and then there were three. Three enormous dinosaurs eating tiger stew. One went away and then there were two. Two enormous dinosaurs trying to run. One ran away and then there was one. One enormous dinosaur afraid to be a hero. He went away and then there were zero. Very good. Now that you've heard it one time, can you join me with that? Put up your five fingers again. So we've got our five enormous dinosaurs. Okay, five enormous dinosaurs letting out a roar. One went away and then there were four. Four enormous dinosaurs crashing down a tree. One went away and then there were three. Three enormous dinosaurs eating tiger stew. One went away and then there were two. Two enormous dinosaurs trying to run. One ran away and then there was one. One enormous dinosaur afraid to be a hero. He went away and then there were zero. Very good. Very good. Now we're going to do one where you're going to get up. Okay, so get up kids. All right, thank you for standing up dinosaurs. Now, for parents, this is just like Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, but instead of a teddy bear, we're gonna be big dinosaurs to go along with our story today. So we're gonna say, dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around, and we'll turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, stomp the ground, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Dinosaur, dinosaur, show your claws. So, rawr, we'll say rawr, because dinosaurs roar, right? Roar. Then it's dinosaur, dinosaur, snap your jaws, just like a big alligator, snap your jaws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around again, and then we'll sit back down, okay? Let's try it one time together. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, stomp the ground. Dinosaur, dinosaur, show your claws, roar. Dinosaur, dinosaur, snap your jaws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, sit back down. Okay, now let's try it once again, all together, but I wanna really hear those roars. All right, here we go. Dinosaur, dinosaur. Okay, where are my dinosaurs? There they are. Okay, let's get started. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, stomp the ground. Dinosaur, dinosaur, show your claws. Roar! Dinosaur, dinosaur, snap your jaws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, sit back down. All right, now that we're all seated, we can start our story. Well, were those stories fun, kids? Or should I say little dinosaurs? Yes, you are great little dinosaurs, I'm sure. Just remember, stay seated while we read this book. How Do Dinosaurs Learn to Read by Jane Yolen and illustrated by Mark Teague. Today I've got Readosaurus Rex right here, the blue guy, and I have Polkadotosaurus. Those of you who have come to the Bernie Library may recognize them from our children's section. So they're here to help me read and to give me some pointers on what good little dinosaurs do with their books and how they learn to read. We also have Puppy and Teddy joining us. So let's get started. How does a dinosaur learn to read? Does he skim through the pages with powerful speed? Does he use his new book as a shovel or a bat? Hmm. 
Uh, I don't think so. Play fetch with the dog. Rex, do you play fetch with your books? You and puppy? Oh, oh, that's good. They don't. They, they don't. They, they told me that. Throw books at the cat? Polka, do you? No, okay, good. We don't throw our book at the cat. Does he sound out the words? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Or just take a quick look and he's peeking at Mother Goose down there. Does she lose her huge temper? Then jump on the book! <gasps> Does she flip every page but not really look through it? Does she skip the hard words? Does a dinosaur chew it? <gasps> look at him. He's chewing his book. Should we do that? No. No, Rex and Poco agree with me. We don't do that. Does he read in the tub, make uh, the boat a big book, and then throw a tantrum when it doesn't float? Oh no. Books don't like water. Does he read on the potty while making a mess? Does he stay till the end of the book? Well, I guess. I guess he stays to the end of the book. Does she scratch off the words with the tip of her tail? Does he have a big hissy when his reading skills fail? Does a dinosaur wail? Can you, how, how does a dinosaur wail, Rex? Does he go, roar? I can't read. Yeah, can I hear your dino wail? Oh, those are some sad dinos. But no, she's kind to each book, to the cover and pages. She reads very careful, never has rages. She reads out each word till she knows they sound right. When she snuggles in bed, Mama turns down the light. Then he calls to his parents who stand by the door. Please, Mama, please, Papa, can I read one more? Do you guys do that? Oh, they say they do. Do you? Do you ask for more books? What do mom and dad say? Well, the dinosaurs in the stories mom and dad say, tomorrow, tomorrow, little dinosaur. Very good, the end. Is that a good book? Yes, so now I wanna say something to moms and dads. So, also in this book, How to Dinosaurs Learn to Read, we've got some helpful tips on how to help your child learn to read or your little dinosaur. Yes, they're your kids. So in this book, we have some ideas on how to help. One of the main things is that you can read any book to your kid. So if you sit and read with your child, you read with your little dinosaurs, it'll help them know how to read and how to sound out words. So just take some time to read with your little dinosaurs. Thank you for joining me today at Virtual Storytime. Hope to see you soon at the library. Remember, you can check out How Do Dinosaurs Learn to Read and other great books. Jane Yolen has many, many more dinosaur books that you can come check out at the Bernie Library. We'll see you later. Goodbye.